Hello, FCS 2250 Computer Application students. Mr. Lang here. Thanks for hanging out with me. We are in Access Section 2. We're going to work on our exercise number 2. Uh, so let's go ahead and begin. Uh, we'll click Next here and begin. we got six things to do. All right, let's do it. So our first direction says we're going to open the review table in the data sheet view and then, to, then add a caption to the annual rev date field column um, and to display annual review date. And then we'll save the table. All right, let's go ahead and try that. So we'll hit the little light bulb there. And direction number one says double click the review table in the navigation pane. So here's our review table. We'll double click that. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we'll click... Uh, in the annual rev date field column so we need to you know what double click the review table and navigation click the annual rev date field column all right the annual rev date field column there we go that's what it wanted us to do again make sure you're using the black arrow pointing down when you're selecting that row that's important all right we're going to click the fields the table fields tab so we'll go up to the table fields tab and choose that and then we're going to click the name and caption button in the properties group properties group name and caption enter field properties all right here we go we're going to click the caption text box so caption text box there and type in annual review date so make sure again you are spelling this correctly with the correct capital letters where they are called for we do have spaces there so the annual review date again they kind of have it uh, uh, summarized a little bit with the annual rev date but we're going to have a caption for annual review date we're going to click OK to that and then we always like to click save in the title bar to save those awesome okay so now we're going to go ahead and close that direction and head on to direction two of six we're going to display the review table in the design view and then move the professional development days field between the supervisor's first name field and the annual rev date field save and then close the table all right let's have some fun so first of all click the view button in the views group on the table design tab so uh, we are going to click the view button in the views group on the table design field here so we'll go to our view and we need to be in the design tab all right design view there we go and we are going to position let me just double check that direction click the view button in the views group on the table design tab all right All right. I think that then basically, oh, what that did was that toggled. Uh, sorry, I didn't, sh I shouldn't have pushed this down arrow. I should have just clicked that. That will then change my view. So, all right. I think we're in the same place now where we need to be. Position the mouse pointer in the field selector bar at the left of the professional development date. So professional development days. All right. Right there to the left of it. And now we're going to click the left mouse button to select the field. We did that. So we're going to click and hold that down. All right. So I actually have my mouse clicked with my left mouse clicked. And I am ready to drag that field up between my supervisor. You can see that black line now up here between my supervisor's first name and the annual rev date so again i just clicked and drag and now i'm letting go of my mouse and it put it right there i'm going to do a control z to undo that so again let's just say this row was selected i would come down put my mouse to the left of professional development days click and i'm holding my left mouse down i bring it up oh now i'm selecting everything let me try to do this again so now with it selected i now click so let's 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 start this direction over mr lang we're going to start from the beginning so we are in our design a view tab i'm going to click once to activate it now that i've activated I'm, i don't have my mouse clicked i can move it around now i go back and click and now i drag now that black line appears and that's where it needs to go right there 
All right. I hope you followed along with me there. Sorry for any confusion. Okay, so we've done that. And we released the mouse button. Click the Save button in the title bar. All right. That was fun. And then we're going to close the review right there. I'm getting lost in my direction. Sorry about that, you guys. Here we go. Hopefully, direction three of five will be better for me. We're going to open the employees table into design view and then delete the supervisor field. Save and close the table. All right, let's go ahead and begin. So we're going to right click the employees table. And what, where do we want to be? We want to be in the right click the employees table in the navigation pane and click design view. So we're going to be in the design view. There we are. We're going to click in the supervisor field row. So we'll click in the supervisor field row. We're going to click the delete rows button in the tools group on the table design tab. Table design, tools, delete row. All right. Are you sure? Yes, we're going to delete our supervisor by supervisor. Uh, and then we're going to click save. And then we're going to close the employees table. All right, that was a little bit better than the last direction. Uh, number four, we're going to open the absences table in the design view and then add a field title first name that is assigned uh, the short text data type. Save and then close the table. All right, let's go ahead and begin. So right click the absences in the tables group in the navigation pane. So we'll right click on that and we're going to choose the design view according to direction number two. And then we're going to click in the new field row below the absent reason field type. So we're going to click in the new row right there. And we're going to type in first name again with no spaces, but using capital letters where they need them. First name, I'm going to double check that first name. It looks good. And then press the enter key. All right. Now we're going to click the save button in the title bar. And we're going to close the absences. So again, we just created a new row. If we did go back and look, uh, we have a new row called first name. So we could put in their first names here. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back to this. Again, hit my save key and I'll close that absences. Five of six, we're close. Create a one-to-one -one relationship. We got to be careful here between the employees table and the review table using the employee ID field. Turn on the referential integrity, save the database. All right, stick with me here. This can get a little confusing. I hope I don't confuse this too much. Click the database tools tab. So the database tools tab right there. We're going to go ahead and click that to activate it. We're going to click the relationship button in the relationships group, relationships group, relationships. So we'll click that. We're going to position the mouse pointer over the employee ID field in the employees table field box. So the employees field box right there, we're going to position the mouse pointer over the employee ID. So I have the mouse just hovering over employee ID field in the employees table field box. We're going to click and hold down the left. So we're clicking and dragging. Click and hold down the left mouse button. Drag the pointer to the employee ID field in the review table. Field this box and then release the mouse button. So we're going to click and I'm holding and I'm dragging and I'm dragging over to the employee ID and I'm hovering right over the top of it and I'm going to let my mouse go. It will now bring up this edit relationships. Okay. So, uh, we've done that. Click the enforce referential integrity checkbox to insert a check mark. So enforce the referential integrity right there. And then we're going to choose the create. And now it has what we call a one to one relationship. So our ID number in our employees table will also match the employees in the employee, the employee ID in the review table. Very important. This is big stuff right here. So I'm glad you're learning this. Click the save button uh, in the title bar. Let's do that.
again, if these numbers don't match, let's say you had an employee number 1094, that employee with the same name and same information for the review tab should have a 1094 as their employee ID number as well. So very important. All right, six of six. Create a new relationship report, saving it with the name relationships to, and then close. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got here. So click the relations report button in the tools group. All right, so in the tools group, we're going to choose the relationship report. Okay, I'm going to click that one more time, and there we go. All right, so we've got the relationship report button in the tools group on the relationship. Click the save button in the title bar. So this is just making a report for us, showing our new one-to-one -one relationship, and we'll hit save there. And now it's asking us, what do we want to save this as relationships to? So I'm going to keep the word relationships there, make sure it has the S on it and then put the number two. I don't see any spaces. So we're good with that. Choose. Okay. You're going to see a report now with relationships to there. So whenever you run reports, you can save them a great valuable tool in access. We're going to click. Okay. Which we did and click the relationship to report close button so we can close that. And you know what? I like to close these as well. So I'm just going to close them all. All right. And I'm going to close this. And it's now time to check our answer. Let's see how we did. All right. Great job, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, again, good luck on the rest of your assignments. And again, if you have any technical difficulties, grab that Cirrus chat uh, on our uh, important links on our courses homepage. They are wonderful at helping get getting you going and, and solving any problems that you may have. All right. Well done, everybody. Thanks for hanging out.